St Kilda's season so far. Welcome back, Saners, to the Saints TV YouTube channel. We've got the bye this weekend. No footy, no Saints footy. Uh, week off, so nice low-key week. But gives us time to reflect. Let's look back at the first 14 weeks as a whole and what it represents. Our record at the moment is five wins and nine losses. 20 points, percentage of 92.25. Games 14, position 14th. That is where we sit. We've had a number of close losses. Um, some could have, should have won. Others probably made a late run and didn't deserve to win anyway. And the game was probably closer than it probably should have been. So um, we've had a bit of everything. We've had, you know, we've had a good win against Collingwood. We played some exciting football against Brisbane. We've played in some of the worst spectacles of the season. Um, Hawthorne game was a struggle. Fremantle game. Uh, and then most notably the Gold Coast Suns game uh, where we, we kicked, I think, 51 points and won the game. So we've had some... It's been a, it's been a ride, yeah? Let's, let's, let's just put it out there. It's been a ride. What we have done is blood some youth, and that's really exciting. If you're not winning, you might as well be blooding some youth and getting games into the kids that are the future. And I think we've done that pretty well. We've seen Collard, we've seen Hasty, we've seen Darcy Wilson, we've seen Garcia, and most recently we've seen Ari Shawmaker, who looks like some type of player. All of them have shown something. Collard, he's struggled a little bit, but he's getting game time. We know that he's a long-term prospect. Um, Darcy Wilson, he's top three, top four in the Rising Star betting at the moment, and that's how good he's going. Ari Shawmaker's come in and he's played one game and looked very comfortable at the level. Garcia, I think he should be playing more. He looks very comfortable at the level and he's doing very, very good things at Sandringham. Um, and then we've kind of learned a little bit more about the list and, you know, where the players like Seb Ross sit, where Tim Membry sits, his form, um, some of these senior players that are struggling and then obviously the senior players that are lifting and Josh Battle, a lot of news about him and his contract situation. Rowan Marshall, some news about, you know, some murmurs of maybe um, some unrest on his end with the club. I don't think that's true, but he has got a long-term deal, so that should be where the news ends. Um, and then obviously Max King in the forward line and the, the ability and the, well, the lack of ability to kick scores that will beat a team that's top four, top eight. We have not had that. We've scored 100 points twice, I think, in 14 games, one against North and one against Brisbane. Our highest score of the year, I think, was the weekend against Brisbane, correct me if I'm wrong, and we lost. So, um, you know, we throw a defend defensive mind out the window. We kick more goals, but we still lose and concede 126. So there's still a lot to learn there. In terms of metrics, we are number five in the competition for kicks. We are third. Um, that well, we, we we concede the third most clearances per game. Not great. Concede the th we are third for clangers per game. Um, clearance differential, we are fourth against. Not good. Um, and clangers the same. You know, we we just give away a lot of clangers. We are fifteenth for points four. That was the key focus for me going into the preseason was we need to be top eight for points for. We're nowhere near it. 17th for hitouts. That's always the case with Ron Marshall, although Tom Campbell might be able to assist with that if we do play more. 12th inside 50s. Don't get it in there enough. 15th for goal assists per game. Goes without saying. And 14th for clearances. We are also bottom three for about 12 other stats, but the ones that are important are points for, goal assists, clearances, inside 50, all of the attacking metrics that any good team that wants to win a flag needs to be up in the top eight to top six. We are at best 12th, not even in the top 10. So that to me is the focus going into the next part of the season. It's not win and loss. You know, let's not even worry about that. I want to see some, 
I want to see those metrics go up. I want to see. I want us to be top eight for points four in the next ten games. I want us to get the ball inside fifty and be in top ten. We should be looking at these sort of metrics. Obviously, defensively, I still want us to be sound. I don't want us to concede a hundred points a game. But if we've gone, if we go from, if the difference is going from conceding sixty to conceding seventy, but that difference makes up we're kicking instead of seventy five, we're kicking eighty five, ninety five. I'm taking that. So I want to see that sort of balance in the second part of the year. The first part, there's so many games that you look back on and you think, our record could be better. Like five and nine, does that really do us justice? Are we really the 14th best team or worst team in the competition? I don't really think so. I think we're probably 10th, 11th. I think we should be maybe one game outside the eight if we know how to put Essendon away. If we know how to beat Fremantle at Marvel, you know, and then there was a couple of games that we could have pinched GWS, Port, um, Geelong. There was a couple of games there. Brisbane on the weekend, that was winnable at, at late in the last. Um, there's four or five games there that if you even split those, you go from being five and nine to maybe, what, seven and seven? I probably would have taken six and eight, seven and seven, to be honest, 50-50 sort of go there. But it is, it's the way it is. We're five and nine. We have a long way to go. And you know what? No paper over the cracks. We've, we know what our flaws are. We've known for quite some time. Clearance work um, and getting the ball inside 15 in an effective manner. And I don't like that, yes, Max King, he hasn't delivered fully this season, but he has missed three or four games through injury and suspension. Our delivery in our midfield has been shocking. We've only recently gotten Paddy Dow in there, Hunter Clark in there. Tom Campbell have trialed in there. We've put Sinks in there. Um, Owens has gone through there a little bit. Sinclair. We're starting to find a bit of a mix there. And I don't think there's a coincidence. In our last couple of weeks, our midfield work and our clearance work has been great. In the first quarter against Brisbane, it was 13 to 1 clearances our way against Brisbane at the Gabba. That's absurd. And we were five goals down. So we got the clearance. The quality of clearances was shocking. And it didn't give our forwards a chance. And at the same time, our forwards vision shows they start behind their man and they're second to the ball every time so that's the sort of stuff that i think the first 14 weeks has shown is that yes defensively great midfield probably got going the last month but forward of center we are just one of the worst teams in the comp and it's a it's a whole team thing you know it goes through the back line does it take too long to get to to the midfield there's no play on there's no instinct on the weekend we saw that instinct and I kind of think the buyers come at the wrong time because we finally found a bit of rhythm in that last quarter. We kicked seven goals to four. We looked like we enjoyed playing the fast football. I would have loved to have had one more game poured at Marvel this weekend to continue that momentum and then have the buy. We have the buy now maybe gives us an opportunity to reset and we know based on the Brisbane game, that's the strategy we need to go with. But I just hope it doesn't halt us and we revert back to whatever we were doing prior to that game because it wasn't working. It wasn't fun to watch, and it's not like playing defensive won us more games anyway. I get it when you're playing defensive and you're getting the results because you know if you open yourself up, you're going to get done. But for me, our record was still pretty average playing that way. Might as well play an exciting way. You might get the same outcome, but it's exciting. Or, dare I say, you might actually kick more goals and win more games. Who knows? So, I mean, out of 10, you've got to give us a 4 out of 10 right? You're not going to go five. Like five is one more, one more, two more wins. I'd go five. Um, Or maybe I'd even go higher than that, to be honest. That probably would take us to a six out of 10 based on some of the games we've had. It's not been the easiest draw. We've traveled quite a bit. We've played some top teams. Um, The second part of the draw opens up a little bit. We do have, I think, only one more for the season, and that's to Adelaide in a couple of weeks against the Crows. And then everything else is in Melbourne. So... Let's just go on a little bit of a run. Let's just build some momentum. Where, wherever that takes us, I don't care. But even if you don't make finals, you want to go into the offseason with a bit of excitement, a bit of, you know, that's the way we want to play moving forward, you know. The blueprint. If we go into the next 10 games and we boot on average 80 to 90 points and we don't make finals, I think a lot of us would still be pretty happy, you know, the way we have gone. It'd be nice to see that sort of shift from being ultra defensive to having a bit more of a balance because I think that's what we've always lacked is that balance. We're either one or the other. You need to find that middle ground where in games you're going to defend, but then you're going to push forward. So 
you know, it's a bit of a mid-season review video, but I just kind of wanted to talk more about what I want to see moving forward. At this point in time, I think we are probably where we deserve to be. You know, if we had any more composure in games, maybe we'd pinch one or two more wins and be seven and seven. But those are all hypotheticals and um, you got to make the most of what you got. And to be honest, I don't think we've really made the most. I think we've blown a few opportunities, but it's our own doing because we don't kick enough goals. Simple as that. Essendon game. That game should have been done at half time. Didn't kick enough goals. We lose. And... Um, you know, the GWS game was long gone until we started playing attacking like the Brisbane game. And both of them we lost, but could have been winnable if we had have come in with the right mindset and not been shit in the first quarters. That's another thing that I've found in the first 14 games. How many first quarters have we actually won? I should check that, but it wouldn't have been more than four or five, surely. I feel like in every game we we're four goals to one down. Like I just automatically think four goals to one down at quarter time. You know, that's kind of where my mind goes to. It's probably not an accurate stat, but I just feel like we're at our first quarter differential for points is significant and probably one of the worst in the comp. After half time, I feel like it'd be a bit more even because we kind of get things together and we're defensive enough that we don't leak more goals. Um, it's just a matter of finding where these other goals can come from. Um, so put in the comments your sort of mid season um, take. I know it's going to be generally pretty negative, so be constructive about it. Don't just say shit. Tell like get it, give give a bit more information um, if you can, and um, yeah, we'll have the buy. Obviously, no sort of match review, nothing this weekend. But um, good time to just sit back, go out, enjoy the the Melbourne winter if you want, and um, and then we'll come back and we've got Port Adelaide. I think next Sunday, so a bit more of a wait. But um, I think we all needed that little bit of a week off, and hopefully the boys do too. I know some teams struggle when they come back from the buy. But I'm hoping we come in and, you know, do the opposite of what we did last year. Last year, we started well and kind of came back after the bye and struggled a little bit. I'm hoping this year it's the opposite and we actually finish the season with a bit of momentum. So fingers crossed, um, five and nine at the bye, 14th on the ladder, struggling to hit goals, defensively sound, a couple of games we should have won, but we didn't. Yeah, I think we are where we are. Uh, midfield needs work, forward line needs work. That's the key. All right, Sainers, thank you very much for watching. Um, please like, comment your thoughts as well. Be constructive and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's push to get 12,000 by the end of the year. That'd be amazing. Uh, podcast will be back next Monday to do a bit more of an in-depth review of the season and obviously preview the big game against Port um, in just over a week's time. So take care. Enjoy the rest of your, your week and uh, enjoy your weekend. And as always, go you mighty Sainers. See you guys.